According to the Rav, the Rebbe to make a Siyum every day from Rosh Chedesh Menachemov until Chamisha also Be'ov. We have the honor today to have a Choshev in German, a Rav Chosid, Ohad, Ma'on, which tonight is also the old site for his mother, Malke Bas Hanoi Chenech, as the Siyum should be Lo'il in Nishmoso. Also, everybody, please give Zoka B'Tzibu as the Rav, the Rebbe, a Rav, Ohad, the Bakasha. Oh, the Siyum is going to be on Masech Yume. The Rebbe always said that the Koranim should be Munachim beside the Kochim. Since for us, the Lubavitchers, they should be. Mikdash is Allah Chalemaisa. It's not something in, uh, that will happen, it's something that is happening. And it all depends on us. So before I do the Siyon on the Sechta, I want to. I want to. No, no, you stay here. I want to uh, say something a little different. The entire, uh, the whole is there's lots of halachos, a lot of explanations, a lot of inyanim here. But I want to address something which is more of a token content. We just came out of Rosh Chodesh Menachem Av, which is the only Yorzai revealed in the Torah. The word Aharon is also Oisi Ois Nigle, revealed. That everything was revealed to the people through and by Aharon Akohen. And I want to say something very, very interesting to me as a coin. We as a Kohani, we don't have any standing whatsoever on our own. We are all considered Bnei Aharon Akohanim. The only thing that we as Kohanim have is because we are descended of our own. He is the centerpiece, he is it. And all of the inyanim that has to do with the service of the Kohen Gadol, the Doiroisa, the Beis Amigdash, have always to do with our own. It doesn't say, It says, the whole thing, all the kapara of Israel forevermore is God and is always centered on Him. What is Maila? Hashem says to Moshe Rabbeinu when he went back to Mitraim and told the Aaron to come out and meet him, Vesamach Beliboy. He was happy to see you even though he was older and more distinguished looking and all this kind of thing, you are the leader, Vesamach Belibu. Aaron did not have one word in the He didn't speak whatever he didn't feel. He was Samach Belibu, the day Israel are going to be redeemed. Whether it's by me or by my brother, it's irrelevant. And that Bitu Ba'etzim, that Kabbalah, Mukhletes, that the Kadosh Baruch who said Moshe Rabbeinu, I'll do everything I can to help you. Because the most important part of being a coin, and every Jew as well, is how much can I do for the other person. Not just because it helps the person themselves to do so, but because the Messias Nefesh, as we know, what the the Rebbe Rashab says to the Fidig Rebbe, Magas and Etzem Nefesh. And the Rebbe is the example for that. So today, Lubavir, in my opinion, some say humble, some say no, but the idea is that you want Mashiach, prove it. Learn Alachas. We, the Kohanim, I tried several years to do something with Shkodesh, Menachem Av the Kohanim, no, no, no response. So I learned my lachas myself, but the idea is the Aaron Akoin Gadol was not just a sign of a, some kind of a person. He was the conduit of Bracha and Chapara to Bnei Israel. And that is despite his own terrible sorrow of losing his two elder sons. So what does he tell us? He tells us that in order to get into the Kodesh Koichim, you have to have Bitu Be'etzim. 
and we're asking the Shakadosh Baruch Hu no less than that. We want to see the Gevon Amidus Hashleima. We have to give it our utmost and reach Bitzu Be'esem. Just to finish up, we had a very nice explanation about the menorah and the Shulchan. We have also the Gemara Yuna says, how do we know all the way the, the big day Kehuna are going to be like? Says the Gemara something very, very clear. There's no wonder, there's no way it needs to wonder. Moshe Aaron will be with us. Says, dear, but Gemara Yuma doesn't deal just with Yom Kippurim Shele Aval. He doesn't just deal with the idea of some kind of history we have to connect ourselves with. Moshe Aaron will be with us and we will be Zoyche Be'ezras Hashem, the giver of the Rebbe, and in the Eretz HaKodesh, in Yerushalayim HaKodesh, and we all married to go there. Let's just finish the Masechet. Everybody is impatient, but it's okay. It says like this, it's not something interesting that is uh, not going to get into it, but never mind. Someone who sees an inadvertent emission of sperm, Yom Kippurim, all of his transgressions. Avon and is and is said here not hate. All his transgressions are forgiven to him. The Atanya Avon was doing, and we have a bright. This is the opposite. All these uh, transgressions are lined up. My sdurim, sdurim limachem. What does it mean? They're all lined up. It's all visible to be forgiven because it was inadvertently. says, if you see something like that, Yom Kippurim, you should worry the whole year long. If al im al salol shana, muftach lo shuben ba'oyin amava. If he survived that year, and he is guaranteed to have the oil of Haba. Amar Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak, Dash, Kol Aron Kol Raev Musavet. Rav Nachman, the son of Yitzchak, says the whole world is is is, is full of taiva of this taiva, and he's not. He has a good life and uh, and he has a, a good life. And also, he will have a long life. <laughs>